Welcome to part three of if you can crochet a beanie, you can crochet a bunny lovey. This is the bunny that I'm making, the bunny lovey I'm, we are making in this video series. Um, and in this video, we are going to do the ears, sew on the ears, because we've already placed the ears, put, put the eyes and make the face. And then we will start finishing off the head. Okay, that might have been just a second for you, but it's been a week for me and I've had a finger injury, so I had a little run in with a feral cat. But I am going to do my best to sew this in, so I might have some difficulty here. So we figured out the position of our ears. And now that we figured out our position of our ears, we just need to sew them on. So I'm going to thread this on. Usually I use the inside ear, the, the tail of the inside ear, to sew on the inside ear part. And the tail of the outside ear, to sew on the tail of the outside ear part. So, I'm just gonna whip stitch this on real quick. And you could technically go ahead and stuff the head and then sew the ears on at the end, but you can't put eyes on at the end if you're, if you're using safety eyes. So, um, and I like to do the ears before I do the eyes because it just, it's a lot easier to figure out your placement of your eyes once your ears are on. So I've got that sewn on. So now let's get the outer ear part. Boom, boom, boom. Are we? Okay. And I managed to sew over that, but that's okay. It'll be fun. So. Uh, that on. And one good thing about sewing the ears on at this point as well, also it lets you, you can, um, you don't have to worry about it going in and hiding these tails because you can just tie them and then leave them in the inside. You gotta be careful not to do what I almost did, which was so <clears throat> through a different part of the uh, the bunny head. I'm gonna sew something together I shouldn't have. I'm gonna go back and forth a couple times. I'm not sure if I'm holding this where you can see it because I'm holding it <laughs> where I can see it. I need to go back back across it a couple times just to make sure I get everything. Okay. So now that we're all sewn in there, I'm gonna tie a knot on the inside to hold everything in place. I'm gonna cut some of this excess off so it's just just so it's not in my way. And you can um, actually stuff with yarn, so I'm probably just hang on to this. And once I get to stuffing the head, I'll probably stuff that in with the stuffing for the head. And <clears throat> now I'm gonna sew on the other ear the same way. And I'm gonna actually cut this starter tail off because it's a little in my way right now too. Um, I'm gonna sew on the other ears, and I'll meet you back in just a moment. Okay, now I've got my ears sewn on. So now I'm going to kind of, kind of open this up a little bit here so I can kind of see the roundness of the face. Kind of tilt it forward and here comes a Rigel to check out the bunny. Kind of tilt it forward. I'm gonna kind of figure out my eye placement. Now there's no real magic where to place these eyes. 
It's just where it looks good to you. So it's a little bit far apart. That looks good to me. So now that we have the eyes placed, we're gonna move Rigel. We're gonna get some glue, because like I said, these are safety eyes. I like to glue them also. Um, I'm using Fabri-Tac glue that I got from Hobby Lobby, if you can see there. Um, and I'm having difficulty getting the lid off. Okay, got the lid off here. So, got my eye placement figured out. So, I see I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue. A little bit of dab of glue around the end of the eyeball there. And going to push it back through. Then I'm gonna also put a little bit of dab of glue on the back. It's like a, uh, you know, trying to make sure it doesn't come out if in case a little child does get it. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's not impossible. And actually I peeled out the wrong size backs out of that, out of my thing. So hold on a minute, let me get the right size back and I'll be right back. Now I'm gonna glue this. Pop it on, which I'm pop it back on, back on, pop it tight. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing with the other eye. Gonna, you know, I didn't look where I took it out at. That's that's where I took it out at. Right there. You can usually see where you took it out at because there's a little bit. The hole's a little bit enlarged. I like to also pay attention so I have a visual spot on where it's at. Put it back in. Put a glue on the back. And put the back back on. Uh, there we go. And I am going to go wash the glue off my fingers before I come back and we make the nose. I'm also gonna get a um, I'm also gonna get a damp washcloth and I'm gonna kind of wipe the eyeballs off because I got some glue on the eyeballs too. Try to clean them up a little bit. So I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm gonna just wipe these eyeballs off a little bit. There we go. That's much better. And now. We are going to make our nose. Now, I am not the best embroiderer. I told you that before. Um, and I've stopped striving for perfection because it's just not, that's just not my strong suit. That, it's not my strong suit. And it is a handmade item and handmade items are not gonna be perfect, so. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna cut a length of the, um, this is probably longer than I needed to cut, but I'm gonna cut a length of the, um, of the inside ear color, which is also what we're gonna use for our nose color. And I'm kinda just gonna kinda go like a row or two down from the eyes and kinda make a straight line and then I'm gonna look at it I'll look at it and see how I feel. If that's a good place for the top of the nose. And I think that's a good place for the top of the nose. So, 
Then I'm gonna come down a couple and kind of go about midway in between. So basically, I'm kind of making a triangle. I'm also trying to make sure here that I'm not catching, I am catching my yarn. Hold on a minute. Let me do a little, do a little rewind here. There we go. Gotta be able to pay attention to that, that you don't catch your yarn. Okay. So, right about there. Okay. So, I'm going to just kind of outline a little bit of a triangle here for his nose. Now I can get the outline shape decent, but what I'm not good at, I'm about to catch that yarn again, what I'm not good at is filling in the inside of the nose, and that's when it starts looking a little weird for me. So I'm just gonna do the best I can. Kind of fill it in. Kind of make it look somewhat solid. This is always trial and error for me. I have been known to pull out what I have embroidered and start over. And I think I just undid something, but that's okay. I am not perfect. And this bunny will not be perfect. It will be cute, but it will not be perfect. So if you know somebody who's good at embroidery, they might can help you Tell you how to do this better than I can. And this is actually kind of looking a little bit of a mess, but like I said, it'll be okay. And every time I do a nose, it, I do it differently because I'm just not good at embroidering and I'm just kind of winging it. So I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth until I feel like I filled it in, filled in the nose good. Okay, that looks decent. I'm gonna come right here. I'll come to this corner. Uh, there we go. The nose turned out a whole a lot cuter than it started out. So there's the nose part. And then we need to make our little, little frowny mouth shape part, which is actually pretty easy. So that one's the easy part. So we're gonna come down a couple rows below where the bottom of the nose is. You're just gonna go straight across. Oh, shoot. You know what? I'm gonna show y'all how to mix, fix a mistake because I caught that yarn. I caught that yarn. Let's see here. So what I do when I do that is I kinda find where it's over it. Let's see. I'm gonna pull this back out. Pull this back out because we're gonna have to unravel some here. Okay, so I'll pull on it. Figure out where my last one went in at. I'm just kind of going under each strand here trying to figure out 
which was my last one. Nope. Try this one. There we go. Now, I'm glad, kind of glad I made mistakes because, um, you know, I just want to For those, I just want to show that for those that don't think you can do it, you probably can do it because you're probably going to make just as many mistakes as I do, but it's okay to make mistakes. Let's see. It's on the top somewhere. So I just pulled on that last string so I can figure out which one pulled. Because sometimes you can tell, sometimes you can't. So, oh, there we go. That's where we caught it at. Okay. Now we're back out. Yay! So, we made a mistake and we fixed it. Now we got to go back and fix the nose and see if it turns out just as good. Because it might not. But you know what? It's all good. So there to here. Ear out from under. There we go. There we go. Now we got the nose. Okay, let's see. Get this untwisted here. And if you did put your stitch mark marker on that, if you're pulling on it, it won't pull out because you got your stitch marker there. And your stitch marker closed there, so. Okay, so we're gonna come down a couple rows. You're gonna come over and over. And you're not gonna pull it tight yet. And you're gonna put your needle back through at the bottom of corner of the triangle. And I'm gonna loop this up over that. And then we're gonna go back in through the same loop, we, same hole we just came out of. And ta-da, 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 there's a little frowny face. Yay, that's done. And now that that's done, we're going to turn it over. It looks like I've got a big loop here somewhere. How do I have this big loop? Okay, let's see. There we go. I'm going to pull that loop tight that's hanging out there. There we go. Ooh, that don't look good. Oh. I see why that did that. I'm going to trial and error, folks. So we got going on here. Trial and error. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's not so bad now. I just kind of pulled that wrong. Okay, and then just like we did with our ears. When we after we sewed on our ears, we are going to make tie a knot on this. You don't want to pull. You want to pull it tight, but not too tight because you don't want to mess up and pull like you like I did when I accidentally knotted it when I was finishing up the sewing or the embroidery. I guess is what it technically is. There we go. Got a knot. And. Uh oh. I messed it up. Lovely. Like I said, this is the hard part to me is the nose. You know what? What I want to do. This will probably work. <laughs> I'm sure you're at home laughing at me going, oh my gosh, she doesn't know what she's doing. And you're somewhat right, but you're somewhat wrong. 
حد So I'm just gonna go back and do the redo this part. There we go. Be sure I'm not getting anything I'm not supposed to. This goes back on the back side. Might not have as sharp of a nose, but, or the mouth as we would have had otherwise, but, okay, here we go. We're back. And I'm gonna just kinda go this under here. Just kinda to secure it, cause I don't know what I did. And I caught the, caught the yarn. No, I didn't. Thought I did, but I didn't. And I didn't want to, so now we're gonna try tying it again. Before I not do a double, yeah, there we go. There we go, now he's got a cute little face. Okay, so I tied it once. I'm gonna tie it a second time. And I'm gonna cut some of this excess off. So it's not in my way. Gather up all my scraps and put them in a pile here. Like I said, I'm gonna stuff them in the head when I when I stuff go to stuff the head. So there we are, we have our face. It's not the best face I've done, but it's cute. I probably should have come down one more row with the mouth. I think I should have come down one more row with the mouth. But that's okay. He's still going to be cute. Like I said, I am not perfect. Okay, so now we are going to get our hook back out. And our, so the last round we did, we did five single crochets followed by a decrease. So this next row, we're gonna do four single crochets followed by a decrease all the way around. So we're gonna end up with an ending count of 30 stitches. So I feel like I need to review this. So we're gonna go one. Put my stitch marker in. two, three, four. You're gonna do a decrease by single crocheting two together. Again, you can go do it like this, go through each loop, pull up a loop, and then do it like that. That's a decrease. You can just simply skip one and call that a decrease. Or you can go through, and I just go through one loop. You can go through both loops. So go through the front loop of the next stitch and the front loop of the stitch after that. Grab your yarn, pull up a loop, and then you've done a decrease. So we're going to finish going around uh, this with uh, four single crochets. That's three, four, and then a decrease. Do that all the way around, and then at the end, we're gonna have 30 stitches, and I will meet you back here after that. So look at this little guy's face. It's looking really, really cute, isn't he? So that last round, we ended up with 30 stitches. So this next round, we're gonna do four, Single crochets followed by a decrease. I'll, wait, no, this one is three single crochets followed by a decrease all the way around. 
So we will end up with 24 stitches at the end of this round. And I'll meet you back here in a minute. Okay, so at the end of that round, we have 24 stitches. And this is the point at which I would first start to begin stuffing it. And I'm not going to stuff it too full. Um, if I stuff it much, for, much before this, it kind of gets in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and put this yarn scraps in the middle of those, that fiber fill. And put that in there. Okay. And I'm going to see if I can regain control of my table. See? I'm going to get it shape his face a little bit. I'm going to try to regain the control of my table here for a minute. Ah, she's out of the way. It's okay. You know, I bribed them with both of them with food just so they'd stay out of my way while I was doing this. And it didn't work very well, did it? Okay, so this next round, we're going to do two and then decrease. So we're going to end up with 18 stitches in this next round. So that was one. Two, followed by whatever decrease you decided you wanted to do. All the way around, and then we get to the end of this round. Well, let's do that again. There we go. So all the way around, then when we get to the end of this round, we will meet back here. Okay, so we have 18 stitches at the end of that round. And you can stuff it a little bit more here if you want to. I'm going to do one more round before I stuff it anymore. And actually in that round, we're going to have to do a good bit of stuffing. But you don't want to overstuff it because it can make it hard to hold. If you overstuff it at this point, last round is going to be difficult no matter what because you're small. Because it's small. So this time, we're going to do one followed by a decrease. All the way around, so a total of six times. So we're gonna end up with 12 stitches at the end of this round. And then we'll meet back here and we'll finish stuffing the head. Okay, so this next round is gonna seal the head. So at this point we need to finish stuffing our head. So I'm gonna pull this loop out. And just like I did when we were sewing the face, I'm gonna take my stitch marker And if I can get it out, yeah, I'm going to loop, I'm going to close it here. And the reason why I like these kind of stitch markers is so I can do this sort of thing with it. So I can put it on the loop and keep it from coming unraveled. It's one of my very few crochet hacks I do. So um, now we're going to finish stuffing the head. Um, this is our last opportunity to stuff and shape the head. Now, you also kind of got to watch this and be careful you don't stuff the your yarn, your working yarn back in there. Kind of keep an eye on that. I'm just kind of taking my fingers and kind of hollowing and pushing things towards the side. I kind of make it a hollow to kind of shape the face, the head here. You don't want to overstuff it and you don't want to understuff it. I can take a little bit more there. Let's see. I'm just checking the shape here. You know, it's going to change a little bit as I close it, but you can get a general idea of the shape. I think that's good. I think it just needs a little bit more stuffing under here. And this this fiber feels a little bit denser of a fiber fill than what I usually use. So I accidentally picked up the wrong kind. So kind of just okay. So now we're going to do our last round of the head.
which is going to be six decreases. So, and I'm going to, normally I don't mark my, I won't mark this, but I am going to mark it because we're going to stop after we do these six decreases. There's one decrease. So I'll mark my first one. Three, this row can be a little bit hard. And it's really, it gets really hard to hold it here, but with practice, you get used to it. And last one. And six. Okay, 